Welcome back everyone. I'm Lisa. Thanks for joining me on my YouTube channel for another card video. So today's cards, I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Hex Yes Stamp and Dies. This is great set to have a lot of fun sentiments in this and I really enjoy it for creating my own backgrounds and I also really enjoy the die set for using pattern paper, which we're going to do both of those in this video. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. So for the first card, we have a piece of craft cardstock cut to four and one eighth of an inch by five and a quarter inches. And I went ahead before I started the video and die cut a bunch of the large hexagons from the Hexia die set. And I used Pink Fresh Studio Let Your Heart Decide six by six papers. Now I'm just going to go ahead and start arranging these on the craft paper. I'm not going to adhere them yet. I'm just going to lay them out to see how I want them. Once I have them where I want them, a little tip, use your phone, your smartphone, and take a quick picture of this so that as you move these to add adhesive to them, you can reference your picture to make sure you're getting everything where you wanted it originally. So I'm going to go ahead and speed through this part and then we'll pick back up when we get ready to start adhering these to the craft paper. So you'll notice as you're arranging your hexagons onto your craft paper that around the edges there'll be empty places, but don't worry about that. Leave those empty because I'm going to show you how to fill those in without cutting um, more paper. So once I have all of the hexagons in place, and snapped my picture. I grabbed some adhesive and some 3D mounting foam and I'm just going to start adhering these to this craft paper. So I'm going to speed through this too because it's very tedious to watch me sit here and add adhesive to all this paper and then we'll pick back up. So once I started adhering the hexagons I wanted to give it a little bit of visual interest so what I did was I layered the hexagons. Some of them are adhered straight to the craft stock, some have one layer of 3D mounting foam, and others have two layers of 3D mounting foam. And I randomly placed these. I didn't, you know, follow any kind of pattern or whatever. I just randomly placed them however it looked appealing to me. So once you finish adhering all of your hexagons, what you're going to want to do is trim off the edges. So save these pieces because I'm going to show you how to use those to fill in all the little places around the edges that were left blank earlier in the video. So the little pieces that we just talked about saving are great for filling in all those little blank edges and so just take them and fill them in you finish out your pattern this is completely up to you how you want to place them or where you want to place them but once you're done placing them go ahead and trim the edges off of those also and then we're almost done so add some adhesive to the back of that craft paper center it on a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base die cut the hello sentiment from the hexia die set and stamp it using VersaFine on its black ink. Add 3D mounting foam to the back of it and adhere it to the front of the card. Once you finish that, then all we're gonna do is add some pretty pink posh clear sequins. Now this is the mixed sequins because I like the different sizes. And I'm using glossy accents to adhere these. So once we have probably about three of these on our card, then I am going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment on the inside of the card. And I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black ink to do that. And since I used the Hello Sentiment on the outside, I decided to go with the How the Hex You Been on the inside. And you see I stamped it in that lower right hand corner. So for the next card, I used the Hex yes Stamp Set, and I went ahead and did that one card beforehand just to make sure it was something that I liked, and I did, so I decided to use to do it again in Distress Oxide Inks, and I'm using Abandoned Coral, Peeled Paint, Gather Twigs, and Antique Linen. Now I start in the center of a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of 80 pound cardstock, and then I work my way out to the edges. I make sure I leave that lower right hand corner open because I'm going to put my sentiment there. 
So I went ahead and I laid down the sentiment, I missed the hex out of you in that bottom right corner as you see, and I stamped it using gathered twigs. And then I decided I wanted to add hay to the card, and so I grabbed the large hay out of the stamp set and I just lined it up around some of the hexagons and randomly stamped it using the gathered twigs also. Once I finished with this, then I went ahead and die cut this piece down and, and then added it to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. So to finish these off, we're going to add some enamel dots and then we'll be done with these. So while we add the enamel dots, I wanted to talk to you about the Hero Arts Rectangle Nesting Dies. I absolutely love these dies. I use them almost every time. I create a card. So the one of the reasons that I love them so much was they had no stitching and no piercing. I have stitch dies, I have pierced dies, but I wanted something that just gave me a nice clean edge and that's what these do. And they there's a lot of dies in this one set and it starts at four and a quarter by five and a half inch which is perfect to cover a card base. So um, if you haven't seen them, you probably want to check them out. They're pretty amazing. Now I'm just adding some yellow enamel dots to the first card and then I'm going to add some green to the next and then we're wrapping this up and we're done with these cards. Third and final card and super easy card so we're going to kind of rush through this one. All you need to do is take some white cardstock. I used 80 pound Nina and die cut eight of the large hexagons from the Hex yeah die set. Then you're going to use ink. I, dist I use Distress Oxide ink, but you can use whatever you have. And I colored each hexagon a color of the rainbow. So once I finished coloring up the hexagons, I added 3D mounting foam to the back of them. And then we're going to add those to the black cardstock. Now, a little tip, I don't know if any of you have seen this, I'm sure you have. I use a piece of cardstock that's laminated so that I can add ink to stuff and then wipe it off and I'm not transferring those colors onto my clean die cut pieces. Okay, so here's our hexagons. We've added the 3D mounting foam. We went ahead and placed them to do a little dry run to make sure everything was going to fit on you know, where we needed to put everything. So I start with the candied apple red and I place it on the bottom left corner and I line it up to the edge of that black cardstock and I let that side hang over just a little bit. Then I move into the wilted violet and I do that same thing on the opposite end of the black cardstock and I also let that end hang over also. So you're going to have to do a little bit of trimming but it's not much. I center the twisted citron hexagon in between these two and once you get these first three laid down the rest of it is really easy. It's just a matter of adhering them and spacing them. Then all you need to do is trim the edges up and then add some adhesive to the back of the black cardstock and adhere it to your four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. So once you get your hexagons in place and you trim the edges off, then just go ahead and die cut several O-hex sentiments from the die set. And I did maybe three or four layers. And then I used VersaFine Onyx Black ink to stamp one of the layers. I adhered all of those together, one on top of the other, with liquid adhesive. And I also used that liquid adhesive to add this to my black cardstock. So to finish off, I just added three matte enamel dots and matching colors, and then we're done with this card. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, I hope you'll join me again. Until next time, you know what to do. Take care and keep crafting. Mm -hmm.